What's going on, Bird Game? Billy Carnage here, and we are finally getting back into our element of the Madden rebuilds. So, you know, before we even get into this, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now, along with that little uh, like button. You know, we're, we're pushing for 300 subs. You know, as of right now, we are eight away. Eight away from 300 subs. So, please, smash that sub button. You know, we're, we're pushing. We are pushing to hit this goal. But, as you see, we are going to be taking on the Seattle Seahawks. So, you know... We, we toyed around with it towards the end of Madden 21 where we we went away from the you know yearly uploads and we we put it all back into one large franchise which I from my the you know analytics all that stuff you know that looked more like that was what you guys actually wanted so we're gonna continue with that trend here um you know going back to Madden 21 we we weren't able to finish up eight teams, maybe six, something like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come in. We're going to start off with, you know, taking on those teams that we did not finish up with last Madden. Uh, and we're going to kick it off this year. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead. We're going to take on the Seattle Seahawks. And another thing I wanted to mention, instead of stopping once we win the Super Bowl, we're going to continue for at least the full five years. See how many bowls we can come out and win. So, you know, getting right into this, we'll take a look here at the uh, hitting way too many buttons here. Way too many buttons. Take a look at the, the team. We got Russell Wilson. He's 32, 94 years old. But he does have that X factor, which is going to be key throughout a lot of, you know, the rebuilds. And, you know, I want to say we still got like three, four years left on his contract, something like that. So, you know, with that, yeah, we got three. So we, we're we we're at least good with having Russ three out of the five years. Uh, we could have to look at possibly, you know, drafting a quarterback here in the future because, you know, Having Jake Lutton and Geno Smith, come on, mama, that that no, that's that's not good enough. But halfback, we got Chris Carson, Rashad Penny, Alex Collins, who looks like an absolute murderer, Bruh. Uh, Travis Homer, and DJ Dallas, who really came on towards the last the last season, you know, with the injuries, but not not really feeling Travis Homer. And DJ Dallas here in Seattle. Uh, fullback, we got Nick Bellor. He's 32. We'll, we'll, we'll keep him at least this year. He is one of our captains on the squad. And, I mean, again, it's a fullback. He's 32. Don't really know how the fullback fits in the scheme. But, hey, we're probably going to walk away from him here soon. Wide receiver, this, this is where... You know, it, it's interesting because you got DK Metcalf. It still pains me to this day that my Philadelphia Eagles decided, hey, JJ Arcega Whiteside is better than DK Metcalf. So they went and they took JJ. And I mean, DK has made Philly pay ever since. And I mean, he's coming in here. 89 overall, 95 speed, 93 acceleration, superstar ability. Uh, let's see. We got deep out elite and red zone threat. Solid, solid. Tyler Lockett, you know, underrated, I'd say, especially, you know, with what he does there with Russ Wilson. I don't know if it's so much Tyler Lockett or if it's just Russell Wilson. Uh, Dwayne Eskridge, a lot of guys are very high on this young man. Rookie out of Western Michigan, 5'9", 188, 92 speed, 93 acceleration. Change direct directions, pretty good, 85. Second high, well, other than this Yursa, dude, second highest on the team. Freddie Schwain, no idea who he is. Come on, Florida man. Gator. I mean, we got to rock with him. We don't have that many wide receivers here on the roster. And then John Ursula, uh, he's injured. He's done for the year. I mean, yeah. 
64 overall, not going to see playing time, even if he was healthy. But tight end, you got Will Disley, Gerald Everett, Colby Parkinson, uh, Tyler Mabry, and Tyler Ott. Again, we need to cut some tight ends. We got way too many. Maybe, probably go and keep Cody Parkinson just there as the backup. Uh, you know, third string behind Will Disley and Gerald Everett. But other than that, you know, definitely need some work here at tight end. Offensive line needs a lot of help. Uh, Dwayne Brown, he's old. He's 36. Uh, you know, Damian Lewis, Ethan Pochick, I think is his name. Uh, 26, so we're at least pretty good there. Uh, Gabe Jackson, he's up there. He's 30, but we'll run him into the ground as long as we possibly can. And Brandon Shield and Cedric Obuha, Obuhai, whatever. Both 29, definitely going to need to find their replacement sooner than later. Defensively, you know, we're looking Carlos Dunlap, uh, Bison Mo Mayoa, you know, both going to get some reps, but... You know, this whole left-hand position is very, very old, especially in football terms. Compared to the right end, we got LJ Collier, Rasheem Green, and Alton Robinson, all young. Their overalls definitely not where we want to be. Defensive tackle, we got Puna Ford. You know, he's been solid. He has been very solid for the Seattle Seahawks in real life. And hopefully, we can get that overall up there, maybe, maybe come in. You know, earn a dev trait at some point. You know, he's sitting there on that normal. Al Woods definitely going to be on the chopping block. He's 34 years old. Left outside linebacker, we got Darrell Taylor. 83 speed, 86 accelerations. 24, he's on the upside. Uh, you know, 69 overall. Middle linebacker, we got the man, Bobby Wagner, with the momentum shift. So, did, I mean, they did they change the X Factor? Because last year... Yo, know, he had Avalanche, but I mean, I guess he's he's dropped an overall. Age getting up there, therefore, you know, he loses it. But he also has Strip Specialist and Tackle Supreme. We're a linebacker. We got Jordan Brooks, 23, 78-year-old, and Cody Barton, 24. And then we also got this Ben Burr Curving. Currently injured, I want to say, yeah, he's he's done for the year as well. So, you know, definitely got to work on improving that right outside linebacker. Uh, look at getting replacements here in the future as well. Cornerbacks, you know, probably their, their weakest position. Definitely not the Legion of Boom as it once was in the early, um, I want to say 2000s, but I'm probably wrong. But Sidney Jones, former Eagle, you know, 89 speed, 92 acceleration. He's 25, he's 78 overall, not the greatest. Trey Flowers, 91 speed, 92 excel, 77 overall. Uh, DJ Reed, Blasson Austin, former Jet here, uh, 90 speed, 89 acceleration. Ugo Amadi, 88, 89. And Trey Brown, who, this right here, if you're playing franchises and you somebody doesn't take him, go after him. He becomes a beast. At least he did in 21. Uh, then we got Quandre Diggs there, 28 over, 28 years old, 82 overall. Uh, he is in a re-sign year, so most likely he's going to go ahead and he's going to get paid. And then we got Jamal Adams with reinforcement, 91 overall, 91 speed, 90 excel. Again, was he not Avalanche at one point? I mean, he doesn't even have Avalanche, but... Hey, whatever. We got reinforcement, we got enforcer, and we got the flat zone KO. So one thing I did want to do before we got into the season, got simmed up halfway through. Yo, I wanted to go ahead and make this trade. We sent Ben Burkirvan, the fourth round pick, and a seventh for former first round pick Andre Dillard of the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, overall, fair trade. You know, we got to look at potentially... You know, finding a replacement for uh, Dwayne Brown. I have no idea how the uh, Madden draft classes are whenever it comes to offensive linemen. So I figured, hey, why not go after, you know, he's he's low overall, former first rounder. But, hey, it's, it's something. And, I mean, we can plug and play him wherever we want on the offensive line. Well, we've only made it three weeks into the year. 
We're here at week four, two and one on the season, and we already have a team leader that is talking about retirement. Already, we just got our first, uh, just had our first, you know, loss. And Bobby Wagner, out of all people, he's thinking of, you know, ending it. You know, we got to convince him to stay. You're, you know, you're, uh, you know, integral part of this team and we really need you out there 70 80 percent of you is better than a ton of players i you know can't let the team down as long as we're contenders i'll be okay but my heart isn't in it we're losing i'm out coach okay so you get one loss on the year and you want to bounce come on bobby come on bobby so here week nine of our bye week we're sitting you know not terrible we're at four and four five hundred uh you know definitely not not where we want to be uh, we did have a three-game losing streak uh, that you know we weren't looking too good. But the biggest thing to come out of the entire like the entire first half of the year is when we come in here, we take a look at the roster. We got DK Metcalf, superstar X Factor. He has let's see, we got Wrecking Ball. Which I'm not a fan of. We're going to go with double me. We're going to go double me with that. Not a big fan of the Wrecking Ball. But, you know, it, double me, it, it fits, you know, DK style. We had a chance for Dwayne Eskridge to go up to a star dev. But, unfortunately, it didn't happen. So, you know, other than that, things are still, still how they are. As we got some players to take a look at, who do we want to negotiate with? We got Dwayne Brown, 36 years old, wants 14 million. I mean, we got we got some others that we need to take care of first before we come back there. But a lot of these guys down on this end, you know, we're not even gonna look at. Um, you know, once we get in into this a little more, you know, Ryan Neal, 25, 91 speed. You know, only once 3.9. There's a chance that we can look at uh, at signing him as well as Rasheen Green. Uh, Ethan Pochick, want to go ahead and get him. You know, lock him up for the remainder of the rebuild. That way, you know, we don't have to worry about a center. Uh, he, he wants more money. Blasan Austin, we'll see how he's doing towards the end of the year, whether or not we want to come back and resign him. Al Woods, 34, we're going to let him walk. Uh, DJ Reed, he's been pretty solid for us, has had one player of the week. We'll go ahead. We'll offer the, him that he wants more money. Rashad Penny, you know, backup running back. We'll we'll see how much we actually utilize him. Trey Flowers, twenty six year old. He wants two years. Let's go ahead. There we go. We at least got him locked up. Uh, you know, Will Disley. You know, twenty five seventy eight. I think we can. I think we can find a tight end in the draft, if not in free agency. So I think between Will Disley, Gerald Everett, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna let them walk. Sidney Jones, another guy, you know, young. Uh, hopefully, we can get him up there. He wants more money as well. So, you know what? Come on, let, let's at least end this portion of the episode on a high note. Bump up Quandre Diggs. At least get him up there until he's 32. And there we go. We at least got Quandre Diggs to resign with us. So, you know, let, let's, let's get into the rest of the year and see if we're able to, you know, somehow put this together and make the playoffs. And just like that, we finished off 10 and 7. We we lost the division since we ended up losing to the Cardinals here. Week 18, 42-24. Uh, nothing, nothing else has really changed this year as far as you know what's going on, you know, with the team, other than Bobby Wagner came back. He's 100 percent He does not want to retire now. So, you know, that right there, big boost to the team in general. So, you know, just kind of taking a look here. We'll take a look at the, the stats. For the regular season, see how we did. We finished off as the number two offense in the league, and the eleventh defense. Uh, looking here, Russ Wilson, fifty-one hundred yards, thirty-four touchdowns, thirteen picks. Absolutely phenomenal. Would have liked to see that completion percentage up there in the sixties, but hey, yo, you're throwing fifty-one hundred yards. I'll take it. Rushing-wise, we had Chris Carson over 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns. You know, Rashad Penny, I think he just earned himself a contract coming in there with 12 touchdowns on the year. Yeah, yardage about half, but, I mean, he also had half the carries. But, I mean, you know, able to come out with 12 rushing touchdowns, 
well done. Receiving wise, Dwayne Eschkers up over a thousand five touchdowns. Uh, DK over a thousand as well with six. Tyler Lockett just under a thousand seven touchdowns, and Gerald Everett nine twenty eight seven. I I like it. I like it. Jordan Brooks led the way, one hundred nineteen tackles, six TFLs, two sacks. And two picks on the year. Sack wise, you know, Carlos Dunlap, six and a half. Darrell Taylor, you know, the young man there taking up five and a half. Alton Robinson, three and a half. Puna Ford, not not too big this year. You know, very, very little, you know, pressure. Two and a half sacks. Interception wise, we had DJ Reed, you know, who you know, we're still working on that contract with three picks on the year. Jordan Brooks with two, Jamal Adams with two as well. So overall. Very, very well-rounded roster as far statistically. As we're gonna come in here and yo, uh, we'll skip that. We'll we'll play the moments, see what goes on. Yo, we're not gonna hop in here. We're gonna we're gonna try to come out yo and yo win without any help. As we'll go ahead, we'll get in here. We'll check out the moments. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, Russ Wilson and DK Metcalf and the rest of the guys can yo handle. The, this blizzard like conditions that's going on here at you know Soldier Field as you know, we're going to be facing off against the Bears who are in orange we're in white defense looks good we're able to get the stop but Chicago scores seven nothing third down alert we're still moving we're in the red zone can we tie this ball game up and we do seven apiece we're driving driving the ball down the field back in the red zone let's go 14 7 we took the lead here in the second quarter as we're running that two minute drill in the red zone 21 to 7 we got the touchdown and you know 21 14 <coughs> excuse me 28 14 you know looking good 28 21 need a touchdown that that's not good that's not good we're giving the bears momentum Bears drove away. They gave the ball back. We should come away with the victory. Third down alert. And there we go. We got our first playoff win here in the, the rebuild as you know, we're able to go ahead and send the Chicago Bears packing as Russ Wilson, 211, two touchdowns. Uh, you know, not not too much across the board as Chris Carson, 18 for 78. DK Metcalf, 8 for 79. Tyler Lockett, 5 for 37. So the one thing I did forget to look at there in the wild card round, we never looked at the the uh, the playoff picture. As yo, know, we came in there as the number six seed, able to handle business against the number three, and yo, know, with that, we will be taking on our division rival, the 49ers, who we split the series with earlier in the year. Uh, you know, Green Bay is able to hold on, beat the number two seed. So you know, if we're able to pull this victory out and you know take the two to one. Uh, lead in the series so far, you know, we'll be facing off against either the Panthers or the Green Bay Packers. And over in the AFC, we got the Chiefs there at the number one seed. And, you know, <clears throat> they're facing off against Tennessee, Cleveland, and the Patriots down there, number two and three. All right, here we go. Let's see. We're in the red zone already. Take a seven point lead. Defense needs to stand, though. We got it. We held them to three, but San Fran is moving the ball down the field. Another third down. They got the touchdown, 10-7. They are up here in the second quarter, and we're unable to go ahead and get a, a field goal. As we're back in the red zone, can we at least take the lead? We tied the ball game up, 10 apiece. As San Fran's driving, they got the touchdown. We need a two-minute drill here by Russell Wilson. Unable to do it, 24-10. San Fran able to answer real quick, 24-21 we're back in this. We're back in this. We got the lead, 28-24. Come on, defense. Defense needs a big stop. 31-28. We're back in the red zone, though. We got the touchdown, 35-31. Just kill the, kill the game. End it. End it. Come on. Big field goal. Kick it. We got, the, we got it, 38-31. Yo, we got to stop. We got to stop right there. Able to go ahead and, yo, end it. Fourth down. Fourth down. Take the, we got the touchdown, 45-31. This game is in the bag. We're back in the red zone, and I think we're just going to kill clock, but we didn't. We ended up turning the ball over, but hey, a victory is a victory. We took the series 2-1 to one as a big game by Russell Wilson. 298, two touchdowns, able to beat out Trey Lance. Uh, Chris Carson, 18 for 66. DK pretty much got shut down, 4 for 33, along with Tyler Lockett. So with that, who, who had the big game? I mean, both quarterbacks threw a pick. 
Uh, you know, not much running the ball. Dwayne Eskridge, man, coming in there, seven catches, 115 yards, and the touchdown. I will take it. All right, we're here in Lambeau, and you're trying to get the win. We're down big, 14 nothing already. As we went forward and forth, Green Bay's just beating the hell out of us, 21-7. to Yo, we need a touchdown. Can we at least bring this game back? We're back within seven. Two-minute drill. Come on, Russ. We need something. Big third down. We've got to stop here in the third quarter, but Green Bay is moving the ball 28-14. This is not looking good for the team, but again, you know, it wasn't looking good against the 49ers there at first either. But can we come, come back somehow, find a way to get the victory? We take the field goal down by eight, but I think this is going to be where our, you know, our little, you know, underdog story ends as we're able to get the touchdown unless we can get the onside kick which we can't and we suffer a 31 28 loss to aaron Rodgers and the green bay packers um you know russ wilson you know out through aaron Rodgers, 243 one touchdown but you know other than that it wasn't really doing it for us so to finish off year one we got you know christian mccaffrey coming away with mvp uh russ wilson down here at number five you know, it is very, very nice to finally see a Madden that doesn't have all quarterbacks in there in the MVP race. Coach of the year goes to Matt Rule. Uh, let's see, did we at least, we did not make it. But, hey, on the plus side, we're re we were able to come in and coach the Pro Bowl. Russ Wilson coming in there, number three offense player of the year. Uh, defensive player of the year goes to Khalil Mack. I don't think we had anybody. Offensive rookie goes to Justin Fields. Dwayne Eskridge coming in number two. Okay, I do like that. Able to come in, beat out you know a running back along with you know a couple running backs, receivers, quarterbacks. All right, so the good thing is Madden Twenty Two has kind of changed their the way that they do things. Jameen Davis comes in there, defensive rookie of the year. I think I said his name right. I have no idea, honestly. But hey, whatever. Sam Darnold, best. Oh, okay. Madden's on some shit. Madden's back on it. Russ Wilson coming there at five. Christian McCaffrey coming in their best running back. Chris Carson down here at number six. Receiver goes to Amari Cooper. Uh, nothing? Wow. DK and Eskridge both did not make the short list. O-line goes to Trent Williams. D-line, Aaron Donald. We most likely didn't make anybody here. Maybe? No. Uh... DJ Reed coming in there, number 10, best kicker goes to Robbie Gold. So, I mean, hey, we had some guys, we had Gerald Everett make the Pro Bowl as tight end number one. So, yeah, I mean, you know, some things, you know, kind of clicked as we'll take a look here. The Browns win their first ever Super Bowl 27-24 uh, over the Green Bay Packers, and Jarvis Landry is able to come in and get the Super Bowl MVP. The so free agency here, we have some money to spend, $41.39 million. You know, we're not going to spend it all. You know, we could go after a guy like Devontae Adams, Mitchell Swartz, you know, Kelsey. Uh, but pretty much, you know, we're going to go younger here at fullback since, I mean, I mean, I don't know if Bellord did a lot, but, you know, I, this scheme is is very fullback friendly, uh, very run heavy. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put a bit on him. Uh, David Njoko, since we lost the other two, younger, 80 overall star dev. Alex Kappa, you know, definitely upgrade there over... Uh, Gabe Jackson in age, and it's the same overall. Plus, we got a star dev trait there. And then we went Isaiah Wilson. We just need a right tackle to fill that void. So we were able to go ahead and get everybody except for David Njoku. We didn't throw any other bids out there. Just because I, I, you know, I'm, I'm curious. I want to see what's going on. See how everything's going. So we'll go ahead. We'll pause the draft. And, you know, might as well just jump ahead. We're, we're picking pick 30. So we'll jump all the way up to oh wow we don't have a first rounder oh well all right so here in the second round our first pick of the draft uh let, let's take a look here let's see what's going on with the team as you know everybody that we scouted as pretty much you know gone you know one guy that they they said that we need to look at and i you know, starred was this Adam Anderson, left outside linebacker out of Georgia, 6.7 combine, second fastest 
out of the left outside linebackers. So, you know, since the game said, hey, go for him, let's go for him. We got a 70 overall, hidden dev, and all right, works for me. Uh, 86 speed, 91 acceleration, which is good. Uh, we could also look at rotating him down as, you know, one of our, you know, ends, possibly, depending on what, what the outlook is actually looking like for the team whenever we get everything all said and done all right so we're here you know we we finished up the draft we didn't really get too much uh too much big but they had this let's look at the the pro football hall of fame inductees so i mean hey why not check it out see what's going on to so, I me mean, it's it's definitely going to be interesting to see you know what what's going on if if we have anybody that you know gets gets in uh you know just because i mean it this it's new so d where gets in uh learn from the great five finesse moves from all linebackers for the next six weeks all right so so that right there is going to be pretty interesting um you know when all things are said and done here towards the end but i mean just you know we'll come in here we'll take a look at the team we're an 84 uh, offense 80 defense 82 overall uh just kind of taking a look now you know with the free agent addition uh you know we got russ we need to go out we got to pull a backup somewhere uh we'll, we'll check into free agency just in case russ would get hurt uh halfback we got chris carson uh rashad penny you know our two big backs we still have homer and dj dallas even though i said i wasn't a big fan of them uh coming into last season we decided hey we're going to keep rocking with them. Uh, you know, especially they're young. You know, 24, 23. So, you know, they're they're going to get their reps when when it's their time. Uh, checking in fullback. Uh, Bellor, we're, we're going to get rid of. You know, if we would have got rid of him last year, it would have been a bigger cap hit. Uh, now we're going to free up 2.15 and just get a, a $600,000 uh, penalty. Patrick uh, Ricard here. You know, star dev. So, I mean, that 95 lead block is going to be absolutely fantastic. So, getting back into the wide receiver, again, we didn't, you know, it's still the same group. DK, Tyler Lockett, you know, Dwayne Eskridge up there to a 75. Biggest thing is DK is now that superstar X Factor. We still got Freddie Swan, uh, Cody Thompson, no idea who the hell he is, uh, but I mean, a lot of these guys we're we're gonna get rid of. I mean, it's right there. It saves just over like 1.4 million, uh, and you know they definitely don't got the speed. So that's something we'll do in the back end, just kind of to clear that up. Uh, tight end. We drafted this Miles Burris, 80 speed, 84 acceleration, 83 agility, uh, 70 change of direction. I mean, just kind of looking at here, uh, definitely got to get that the awareness and all that stuff up. I mean, right now, we're going to be sticking with Colby Parkinson, uh, but there's always that chance that Miles Burris, uh, normal dev here, 6'6", 267, uh, compared to the Colby Parkinson there at 6'7", you know, absolutely gigantic. Uh, you know, there's always that chance that Miles Burris could end up taking over uh, left tackle Andre Dillard there. We got we got him in that trade. Uh, he's finally going to go ahead and pan out Damian Lewis. Uh, here as left guard center is Ethan Pokick, uh, Gabe Jackson, Alex Kappa. You know, again, let's see, 77. So, I mean, Kappa could pretty much stay where he's at. Uh, we could look to possibly trade Gabe Jackson. I haven't decided that yet. And Isaiah, Isaiah Wilson there. We also, you know, we're working on him 68 overall. Uh, looking here on the defensive end. Carlos Dunlap, Maloya, you know, still still rocking, doing their thing. They're still getting older. LJ Collier, uh, Anton Robinson. We got Al Ali Ga Gay Guy. I don't know how to like really pronounce that, but you know, 71 overall. He's definitely gonna go ahead and get himself up there. Uh he does have that hidden dev. So, you know, we'll, we're probably gonna bump him up. You know, 22 has better speed than LJ Collier, but then again, out uh our, I was going to say, wait, this is our, our linebacker, but it's not. Uh, defense tackle, Puna Form, 
Uh, we got Taron Vincent there, 73 speed, 69 overall. Uh, back up, left outside linebacker, Darrell Darrell Taylor, who you know played absolutely phenomenal, and Adam Anderson, the the speedster, left outside linebacker, hidden dev here for the team. You know, seventy six overall, got that plus three tackle. Not exactly sure what the TMP means there above the uh, overall. So, I mean, we're we're gonna keep keep rocking with it as we got plus five finesse moves as well. So, I mean, I'm hoping hoping that he turns out to be. An absolute monster. Still got Bobby Wagner. He's a superstar. Uh, Jordan Brooks, Cody Barton, and Aaron Donker. <laughs> All right. Uh, corner, we still have Trey Flowers, Sidney Jones, DJ Reed, Agu Amadi, Basan Austin, Trey Brown, uh, John Reed, and Michael Jackson Sr. Uh, free safety, Quandre Diggs, Marquise Blair, and strong safety, we still have. Jamal Adams, and we're going to go ahead. We're going to get into the season year two of the Seattle Seahawks rebuild. Midway through the season here, week seven of our bye week, we're sitting three and three. Yo, know, that division is tight between us and the 49ers sitting at three and three. The Niners have the, you know, they, they split the, well, they got one up on us on the season so far. Uh, we played them week one, and unfortunately, we fell short. But, I mean, the Rams and the Cardinals, they are right there as well. We did have a weekly award in our loss to Green Bay. Actually, two of them. Russell Wilson, you know, 274, five touchdown passes. Bobby Wagner with 10. Just kind of going down through. We didn't really have anything else throughout the season. Uh, so, I mean, we got to take it as it is uh we got some players that are ready to negotiate as always we'll start over here at the right but before we even get to that dk metcalf yes sir lock him up and i'm i'm willing to pay him the big bucks you know we'll bump it up 116 over five years exactly what he wanted to let's go we got him locked up so we'll come all the way down here you know isaiah wilson isaiah wilson you know Probably going to go ahead and get re-signed. Uh, Homer's probably going to be walking uh, along with Dunlap. Probably come back here, re-get Andre Dillard as well. Uh, we did sign Malik Cunningham um, in free agency just as a backup along with Von Set, uh, Vosan Joseph. So these two most likely just going to get extended. Uh, just kind of looking down through there. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Puna Ford. And Bobby Wagner wants a lot of money 25 million over two years he he's regressed down to that superstar but he's still an 89 so i mean let's we're gonna have to make a decision on bobby um let's come back chris carson as well we we'll, we'll, we have to make the decision on him let's let's see if he if he hits a thousand again uh see see where that's going with with the team and just like that to wayne eskridge Able to come away with a superstar dev trait, even though you know they they showed up two different things. Um, as far as you know, you got the they brought in here on Madden the brand new. Uh, let let's continue to go through you know just the progression. Like he got a star dev, and now we're gonna continue that. See if he can go right away and get a superstar. Uh, the first one with the little cutscene, we were unable to go ahead and hit. Even though that was less than that one, but you know that one we were able to go ahead and get the superstar. So I have no idea, but that right there is going to be absolutely huge whenever it comes to the team because now when we look at our wide receiver uh, room, we got DK Tyler Lockett here. Pretty sure he's still a star. He is. He's 29 though. He's getting up there in age. And then we got Dwayne Eskridge here as a superstar, and we're going to continue to you know build up that uh, deep threat. Gets that plus one awareness, plus two catching traffic along with the deep route running. So just kind of looking to see, does he, I have no idea. He does have some abilities. He's got deep in. Uh, let's go with uh, route tech. And we don't have any of these unlocked yet. We got to get up to an 80 for grab and go. So, you know, at least once we hit an 80, we'll be good there. So after the season not starting off too hot, we were able to go ahead and win the division. I want to say 9-7 and seven without going back and looking. But we're the number four seed here in the playoffs. We lost to the Saints in Week 18, unfortunately. You know, would have possibly 
bumped us up there to that number three seed. Uh, but we pretty much we finished off the season on two losses, losing to Philly and losing to the Saints. But hey, we got the Vikings here in the wild card. So I mean, I I'm happy with that. You know, we're we're nine and eight. Nine and eight, able to just barely take that division. Rams went cold all year, uh, all year. So let's go ahead. Let's get in here. Let's take a look statistically how we finish. Seventh overall offense. And the 23rd overall defense, definitely not where we want to be. Russ had a, a down year, 4,700 yards, 37 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. I want to say that's, in general, that is worse than last year. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, he, he did have, he, did, he threw for two more touchdowns, but, you know, four more interceptions and, you know, had a real, a decent, like, 400 yard drop off. Um, whenever it comes to the yardage rushing wise, Chris Carson's up over a thousand, 13 touchdowns, most likely going to go ahead and get himself re-signed here with the Seahawks. Dwayne Eskridge, 11 and 13. DK Metcalf really wasn't a scorer this year, but you know, it, it was the emergence of Dwayne Eskridge, you know, 13 touchdowns on the, in his second year, which I'm happy with that Tyler Lockett, man. He's definitely on the, the downward slope of, of his career. Got to take a look at his contract. See if it's if it's worth possibly, you know, trading. Bobby Wagner, I, you know, we, we went through the scouting tree and we, we changed it so he won't regress. So, you know, there's a chance he's going to get re-signed. 118 tackles, four TFLs, half a sack, two picks. Along with Puna Ford. Puna Ford coming in there with five. Definitely a bigger year than he had last year. Uh, I'm happy with that. You know, Carlos Dunlap, uh, Teron Vincent as the rookie. All right, let's go. Uh, Jamal Adams, three picks. Bobby, DJ Reed, who is now a star dev. He is. He, he went up to the star dev right in the regular season. He had two. Sidney Jones with two and Quandre Diggs with one. So as we take a look here, the Vikings are an 80 overall. We're a three-point you know, favorite whenever it comes to that. We'll take a look here at the Vikings since we are in year two. Uh, see if anything has changed. Dalvin Cook, Daniil Hunter, there is their X Factors, Justin Jefferson, Eric Kendricks, and Adam Thielen there. So not much has really changed for the Vikings. So let's see if we can somehow come out here and get the W and you know head off into you know the next round of the playoffs. As for some reason we still had a uh, a truck just chilling in the middle of the field while we're out there playing. We have the first score of the game, seven nothing down. And we ended up all right. This it's looking good. Seventeen to seven here in the second quarter. We're in the red zone, and we're able to get another touchdown back in the red zone. You know, defense came, defense came and showed up. I don't know what the hell I just did there. Thirty-one ten. We got the lead here at halftime. As we're we're gonna start moving this ball downfield again, back in the red zone. Thirty-eight to ten. Thirty-eight seventeen. Let's go. This looks like it's gonna be a victory. And we're going to move on to the divisional round of the playoffs. 45-17, 45-24. As, you know, let's, let's just end this. End it already. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are the Vikings trying to make that comeback? 45-31. 45-38. Do not have a turnover. And luckily, we're able to just knee this ball game out. And we got the victory. So, I mean, it, it came down to a close one. They tried to lose it. Russ, not... Not really there. 179, three touchdowns. Chris Carson, 1474. DK, 7 for 69. And Tyler Lockett, 4 for 15. So, I mean, we're we're going to get ready. You know, clear our heads. You know, figure out what the hell's up with the defense. As we're going to go ahead and we're going to get right into the divisional matchup. So, here we are in the divisional matchup. We're taking on the Dallas Cowboys, who squeaked by 21 to 20 to 14 against the Washington football team as they got Amari Cooper, Zeke, Dak Prescott as their X-Factors, Zach Martin, Tyron Smith, and Demarcus Lawrence there, who currently has a broken foot, I believe, in real life. Uh, you know, he's he's there as a superstar for the Cowboys as we're looking to go back-to-back -back years with at least making it to the NFC Championship game. As Here we are. We are in Dallas. Dallas is the number one three seed so let's see can we can we make some quick work out of dallas big first quarter drive here we're moving the ball down the field we're in the red zone able to come away with touchdown dallas answers right away 
Dallas goes up 14 to 7. Not looking good. Big third down. Come on, we need a stop. 21 7 Dallas. We're down in the red zone again. We bring it back within a touchdown. Uh, come on, we, we can't get off the field on defense. I mean, we're able to move this ball down the field. We got the, the field goal. We moved it back down. We're, all right, we're within five. We are within five. We're kicking the field goal within two, 28-26. All right, defense. Defense, stand up, baby. Defense, stand up. Let's go. Come on. 30-30-28 here. 40-28. Let's go. This should be in the bag. Should be in the bag. We should be heading to the NFC Championship game. 43-35. And we did it. We did it again. Let's go. Mike Tomlin. I guess they gave up on Mike McCarthy really damn quick. But Mike Tomlin is there in Dallas, and we just sent him home packing. Let's go. Russ Wilson coming out. 371, three touchdowns. Chris Carson, not so much. 13 for 50. DK, 455. Tyler Lockett, 4 for 27. Let's, let's continue this roll. Let's get right in to the NFC Championship game. So it's deja vu all over again. We are taking on the Green Bay Packers, who last year decided, hey, we're going to come and we're going to whoop up on the Seahawks here in the NFC Championship game. And, you know, we've already lost to them once this season, 38-35. As over in the AFC, we got the, we almost have the same scenario as we did last year. As we'll take a look here at the Packers, Jair Alexander, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, Bakhtiari, Kenny Clark, and Zadarius Smith are their superstars. But like I was saying, we almost had the same exact scenario as last year because the Browns are there, the number one seed in the AFC. They're taking on the Chiefs. You know, can we can we change the script and you know come out here, beat Aaron Rodgers, and you know at least make it to the Super Bowl? As we're gonna get in here, we're we're just simming it up. Defense needs some help. We got to stop. But Green Bay scores seven nothing here. We got the field goal. You know, it's not looking good. Ten to three. You know, come on. You know, I don't know if the the snow games are really messing with us. But, I mean, I don't know what the hell was that with the kick. 13-3. to three. Uh, We need to get a touchdown. We need a touchdown quick. We got it. 13-10. to 10. Let's go. 16-10. Green Bay. Uh, here in the third quarter. Let's get the touchdown. 16-13. We're at least keeping it close. We're in the red zone. If we score, we get the lead. 20-19. to 19. Let's go. Come on, D. Defense needs a stop. All right. All right. We need a touchdown. We need a touchdown. 25-20. Fourth down. Let's come into this one. Fourth and two. Let's see if, you know, for some reason I lose this game for us or not. Ah. You know, guys are tired. What do we got? You know, Burris, what are you doing? Go out. Uh, there's so much moving on. I don't know what's going on here. Come on. Catch it. Lock it. Let's go. Tyler Lockett there with the catch. You know, there, there's so much with the momentum stuff going on. I didn't. I could not remember exactly the play. Big third down. We're still driving. Fourth down here. Let's come in. Fourth and 13. Ugh. We'll go some verts. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm trying to see what we got. Try to see what we got because as as you saw, we took the verts, and as you see on the screen, things are changing. Things are changing so much. I don't know what's going on. We'll move Tyler Lockett out there. You know, let's see. Uh, can we lob that in there? No. Oh, oh, Chris Carson almost came down with it. I should have never threw it. Should have never thrown that ball. As you know, we just suffered a loss. That's on me. One hundred percent. That is on me. I I do not like that ability at all. Chris Carson, 9 for 23. DK, 3 for 12. DK was shut down all game long, and along with Tyler Lockett. Yeah, definitely not, not a good showing for the Seattle Seahawks. As For the second time in a row, we have lost to the Green Bay Packers in the NFC Championship game. But with the season coming to an end, it's time to take a look here at the Pro Bowl roster. I'm really surprised that they got a 70 overall uh, quarterback here, some book dude. We'll have to check him out. I have no idea what team he, he plays for. Russ Wilson there coming at quarterback number three. And let's see, we got Dwayne Estridge, wide receiver four. And surprisingly, we got 
uh, Parkinson there coming in there tight end three. That's all we had there on the roster. So you know, with that, we'll come in. We'll we'll see what goes on. Uh, I'm curious. They got this. All right. So you know, we're back at the Pro Bowl. You know, as head coach. You know, let, let's have fun. Have fun. You know, the season's over. Uh, get five extra staff points that we've been using throughout the year, and it is a complete. Repeat of last season as we got the uh, Cleveland Browns taking on the uh, Green Bay Packers once again. <laughs> Crazy how that works. I mean, <laughs> you know, both number one seeds, they're there. They're going again. Can Cleveland pull off their second Super Bowl victory? Before we find out who won the Super Bowl, we got some some league awards here. Christian McCaffrey coming in MVP. Uh, let's see. We didn't have anybody. So just like last year, again, nobody in the NFC running. Offensive player of the year goes to CMC. Russ Wilson coming in there at six. Uh, defensive player of the year goes to Khalil Mack. Offensive rookie Spencer Rattler to Philly. All right. There, there's a lot of talk that that could actually happen in real life, uh, which is it's. Pretty interesting to see. Defensive rookie goes to uh, Thabanu there. Um, it's kind of looking. We had you know, Teron Vincent. You know, not even our first overall selection, but our backup defensive tackle comes in there, gets number seven. Uh, quarterback goes to Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Russ Wilson come in there at five. Running back goes to CMC. Chris Carson there at six. Receiver goes to Dante uh, Pettis. Dwayne Eskridge coming in there at number three. O-line, David Bakhtiari. I don't think we have anybody here. D-line goes to Aaron Donald. Again, you know, nobody. Uh, linebackers, DBs. Do we have anybody? We got Jamal Adams coming there at number six, and that will do it. So with that being said, we'll come in here. We will take a look at what happened here in the recap as we got the Cleveland Browns winning their second Super Bowl ever. And Nick Chubb coming away, Super Bowl MVP. As, you know, the Browns, you know, this Madden, well, even last year in Madden 21, the Browns were, were dominating in the sim. As, you know, now they officially have back-to-back -back Super Bowls as they won 35-31. So we got some bids out there. We got, we're going after some corners. Uh, Grady Williams, 25-80 overall, uh, be an instant boost over Sidney Jones, along with Sean Murphy bunting, uh, you know, just add... A little bit of depth get one of those guys playing the the slot and then we're going after mad max 26 years old star dev 81 overall instant upgrade over hider uh the biggest thing that we need to look at is we lost bobby wagner and as you see bobby wagner he's 33 88 overall and he's regressed all the way down to a star dev so you know unfortunately i couldn't justify paying 25 million dollars for him, especially with him dropping that far down. So, you know, there there's some guys that we could go after, but you know, I'm kind of kind of liking where we're at. You know, I thought about if McCall Hardman is still there in the the second round of free agency, might throw a bid out on him. Uh throw something out there and look at possibly trading uh Tyler Lockett away from the team. So, you know, with that, we'll go ahead, we'll sim right up here, see if we go ahead and get any contracts. So we got Max, and we got Grady. Sean Murphy Bunting declined our offer. All right. All right, I see you, you don't want to buy in. That's cool. So here for the draft, we got a couple ways that we can go. Uh, we could always look at, you know, finding that fourth receiver. You know, Cole Pitts not looking too bad. Uh, same thing with Corey Nix and Steve Booth. Steve Booth is the second fastest wide receiver in the draft class with running a 4.3. So that, that right there is very interesting. Dante Thompson, Thomas, uh, looking like the best player in the draft. Strong safety there out of Florida State. We could always look at going left outside linebacker or defensive tackle uh, between you know Nicholas Callaway here, uh, nine, ninth in strength or... You know, right here, the fastest 
defensive tackle that they got. So I mean, it's it's, it's really up in the air. Kind of just looking here at the big the uh, draft board here. I've got a couple guys that are that are out there, high combine grains that you know we could look at. We could always look at going here for you know middle linebackers just to fill that void of Bobby Wagner. And then this Brad Smith guy, yes, he's red chip. Uh, I'm going to be curious to see because this was one of the guys that in the game they said to keep an eye out on. So, I mean, with that, I think what we'll do, Dante Thompson, you know, let's let's go ahead. Let's grab him, uh, you know, just kind of curious to see exactly what happens with him. You know, not the fastest, 10th fastest safety, but everything else looks good. So, I mean, with that, let's go ahead and let's take... Deontay Thomas from Florida State. See what we get here. 77 normal? All right. Uh, 11th in true talent, 87 speed, 76 zone, 91 acceleration. Definitely going to be a work in progress, but, I mean, we'll see what happens. Do we go and you know, remove uh, Quandre Diggs, who's up there like 30, and let Deontay Thomas take over that role? And, you know, between Thomas and Jamal Adams, that could be a beastly secondary there. So we'll take a look here at the draft recap. Like we said, we got Dante Thomas, 77 overall, normal dev trait, lost to morale. Not a fan of that. Uh, we went Daryl Stewart, hidden dev tight end. I'm good with that. 86 speed. Um, you know, he was uh, he's the number 36 ranked tight end. So, you know, not bad, especially just coming in right away as a uh, rookie, so 6'3", definitely on the smaller side. Then we went Maurice Dunbar, hidden dev, right tackle. Let's go. Rookie out of Washington. Uh, you know, I'm good with that. You know, kind of curious to see what that will come out to be. Uh, 90 strength. Let's go. Then we went Rashawn Beal, 91 speed, 89 acceleration. Not not the fastest, but, I mean, hey, we'll we'll go with it. We went Julius Mur uh, Murray. Run stopper there, defense tackle, and then Joel Reese. I was interested in him just due to the fact of you know where his his chip was. He was like a second round uh, green chip, and you know I'll, I'll I'll take it. I guess sixty five overall, eighty seven speed, eighty seven acceleration. Let's go ahead. Let's get right into year three. So so far through year three, it has not been the best year at all. The biggest upside of that, we got Darrell Stewart going up to a superstar dev trait. Believe this is our rookie. Gets that plus 8,000 XP. You know, we're currently sitting at 3 and 5. You know, we're still in it. Still have a good opportunity to go ahead and make our way into the playoffs as we're going to be taking on the division leader currently, the 5 and 4 San Francisco 49ers. Uh, we had some contracts that we went and we re-signed. We will we'll take a look here. Where where the hell is it? Um, league transactions. Just because I kind of missed it uh, within the the big thing, but we re-signed Russ to a one-year forty million dollar contract. Re-signed Sidney Jones, Trey Flowers, Damian Lewis, Cody Parkinson, uh, and Jordan. Brooks, who is a superstar for the defense. So, you know, we at least got those guys re-signed. Uh, just coming in here, we'll take a look at the, the overall roster right now, especially with the, the dev traits, as, you know, Russ is still there. Halfback still got Chris Carson, probably not having the best year. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, Eskridge. I don't know if Eskridge has his second ability yet. He does not. You know, surprisingly... He doesn't even have the grab and glow, grab and go. Uh, but you know, I'm kind of, kind of torn. You know, I I want to keep the route, but you know, let's yeah, you know, we'll we'll keep route text, keep getting that that separation there. Um, just trying to think of anything else that has happened as far. Uh, but other than you know, Darrell Stewart, let's see, he has definitely going to change that. Let's do we go slotomatic there with him, or let's let's go reach for it at least right now. Still don't have anything there, so you know since we don't have the second opportunity, we'll go slotomatic on him. We do have the upgrade 
can upgrade the possession, get them up there to that 79 overall. And tight ends, as always, always have a, a big boost whenever it comes to their upgrades. Plus one catching traffic, catching, pass block, pass block power, run block, and run back run block finesse and then we also get that plus two medium route for him so hey i'm good with it let's go as you know andre dillard hit there he's still still doing pretty damn good um you know dion lewis there not dion lewis whatever his name is up there to an 80 start of kappa 81 and isaiah wilson there as a uh 76 overall Do, we still don't have his you know, up there. You know, I'm thinking what we'll do, we'll come in here, we'll switch Maurice Dunbar and Wilson. Just to kind of see, uh trying to think of anybody else that may have had a you know dev trait. Uh Brooks, he did get his. We we need to go ahead and we get him. Uh let's let's go with Run Stopper and with him. Uh yeah, we play a lot of him. We'll go mid zone KO. Run stopper mid mid zone KO. Whatever. We'll we'll rock it. Wiggins is normal dev. Quandre Diggs is still a normal dev. And let's see, did Thomas? Thomas is still that normal. So I mean, you know, let let's see if we can come out here and get that victory against the 49ers. As you know, we got the press conference for the rivalry game. See what we can do. Let let's see. Uh, you know, you're facing a bit of rival the 49ers this week. You know what? You know, we, we've been praising George Kittle. He's a beast. Let's just get that W and try to improve to 4-5 and five on the season. As we'll go ahead, we'll advance here. Let's see if we get this dub. We do. We get a 31-26 victory as we're sitting 4-5, and five, which is really good whenever it comes to you know getting us up through the, the division as what that puts us... You know, tied for second right now. So, hey, I mean, we're, we're getting there. We got some contracts to look at. You know, Patrick uh, Ricard, you know, most likely going to just re-sign him. Uh, definitely got to redo uh, Olsen Robinson. You know, that that's a bad thing. We have a lot of big guys, uh, a lot of depth guys that we want to re-sign uh, to continue just to build the team. Gabe Jackson is going to be one of those ones. You know, he wants you know, 4.3, uh, solid backup. But, yeah, I mean, let, let's go ahead. Let's see where we finish up here in year three. So it was a down year for us. We finished up 8-9, second place in the division. Went on a little losing streak there. Uh, taking out, you know, the stats, Russ, 4,300 yards. Uh, we were the 19th overall offense, 6th overall defense. So at least defense showed up. Russell Wilson, yeah, we, we re-signed him for one year. Uh but, I mean, 24 touchdowns, 14 picks, definitely on the downhill slide of his career. Rushing Chris Carson, 12 and 18. Huge year for oh, Chris Carson there, averaging 4.4. Receiving-wise, DK and Eskridge, both, both over 1,000. DK's not getting the touchdowns. Uh, Eskridge there with 8. Daryl Stewart coming in 7 and 4. Tyler Lockett still there, you know, just doing his his thing you know not being a big contributor jordan brooks led the way 113 tackles five tfls one and a half sacks and four picks sack wise ali gay guy something like that eight and a half all adam anderson with seven mag max coming in there with not with two with nine tfls all right I i'm good with that you know definitely not here where we want to be or interception wise jordan brooks leading the way with four dante thompson thomas I want to say Thompson for some reason. But Thomas coming in there with two. Jamal Adams with one along with Quandre Diggs and Grady Williams. So Grady Williams not doing too much. He's not up there in the starting lineup. But uh, that's definitely going to change here coming into year four. As you know, he, he made some a solid impact coming in there with that one pick on the year. Taking a look at the yearly awards. Mahomes comes in MVP. Uh, let's see. Nobody there. NFC we got... Alvin Kamara coming away Offense Player of the Year. Just kind of looking, see if we have anybody. Brian Burns, Offensive Rookie. All right, so Darrell Stewart coming in there, number two. Uh, I mean, it's still, even though he wasn't number one, we still got that superstar dev trait. I'm happy with it. Uh, Dante Thomas, see that? I said Thomas right this time. But he comes in there at number four. Best quarterback goes to Matt Ryan. Still in the league. Still doing his thing. Uh, running back goes to Alvin Kamara. 
All right, Chris Carson there at eight. Receiver goes to Calvin Ridley. Let's see. Anybody? Do we have anybody representing us in the offensive line? No. D-line, no. Linebacker? Come on, surely Brooks has to be in there somewhere. DBs? Nothing. So definitely not not where we want to be for yearly awards. As, yo, know, we'll, we'll come in here. We'll, we'll just advance. We got the Falcons and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. We'll check out the recap as the Chiefs beat up on the Falcons 49-35. Mahomes gets the Super Bowl MVP. So, I mean, at least it, it was nice. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is no longer with Green Bay. He's now in Philly. Uh, just some of the big moves that have happened uh, through the offseason last year that you know, but before we came in that check out some retirements as we are getting in, you know, to where a lot of the big guys are going to retire. Matt Ryan, Roger Saffold, Julio Jones, Aaron Rodgers, Cam Hayward, Demario Davis, Cam Jordan, David DeCastro, Harrison Smith, Brian Balaga, KJ Wright, Eric Fisher, Marvin Jones, Kelsey, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, a lot of the guys, you know, watch this. You know, we grew up with a lot of those guys. So, you know, seeing them retire, it's definitely, definitely different. We don't have a lot of cat room. Uh, we got 2.9. So, most likely, we will not be big spenders here in free agency. Um, as we're sitting at 3.55, you know, just be kind of nice to see who's out there. Who, you know, like bringing in a guy like Justin Jefferson would be huge. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, we, we can't really spend much money. So, you know, we'll have to sit this one out and come back during the draft. So, with Russ, you know, pretty much coming to an end here in Seattle, yes, we still have him one year. I would love to keep him for the full rebuild, but we got to be smart. We got to go ahead and draft a quarterback here. So, you know, we'll go ahead. We'll take Carl Horan, 74 overall, normal dev, 92 throw power. Definitely not where we want to be, but hey, we got to do something. We can't miss out on. You know, a, a possible top tier quarterback before you know it's time to actually let Russ go. So we'll go ahead, we'll sim up here to round two, and we'll we'll have to go ahead through, kind of take a look, see what's left. I mean, I, I say what's left. You know, I didn't really do much scouting, so you know, it's we just kind of let the the computer do it. So you know, we'll just we'll go down through each position and just kind of see what the computer decided. Hey. You know, this, this is what we want you to do. You know, Alex Green there, just kind of going down through, finding some of these hidden devs. Uh, not not really hidden devs that we can really say because we don't know, but, you know, the green tier guys that, you know, possibly can make an instant impact on the team. You know, we could go right here. Uh, J.D. Conley, 6'3 combine. He's a late first rounder, so be getting him right about, where he could be uh, for the team. Again, we got Craig Rainey. Definitely need to, you know, figure out that middle linebacker spot. Cornerbacks, you know, not really there. Uh, could continue to go free safety. Maybe move him down, uh, depending on if he, if he falls. So, you know, with that, I think what we'll do, we'll just we'll go out here, we'll grab him. Uh, even though, just kind of looking like Joey Woodward kind of looks a little better. Joey Joe Watkins. Has a better combine grade. You know, we'll go with the first round talent here with Rainey. 74 hidden dev, 27 in true talent. Let's go. 87 speed, 82 tackle. I'll go with it. Let's continue to rock and roll. So we'll take a look here at the draft recap. As we all know, Carl Haran, uh, Greg Rainey. We want Alex Green here. 95 speed, absolute monster. You know, Whenever it comes just to that speed, 95 speed, 92 acceleration, 80 catching, which, you know, I don't know why it's already a plus five, but hey, I'm good with that. Add to that depth. We went Shaq Nobles, you know, solid left tackle. Definitely need to look at possibly replacing Andre Dillard in the future. Uh, Mike Haynes, uh, 69, right end. He came out, you know, like 80. We drafted him late. Linebacker, and then we just, we let it, uh, auto sim out where they got john parsons so just kind of seeing if they if the computer decided to go ahead and pull a hidden dev somewhere um you know not looking like it but i mean hey all right let's get into year four so here we go as we enter year 
four. You know, just kind of taking a look at the team. Chris Carson went up to a superstar. We got 99 overall. DK Metcalf, Dwayne Eskridge there at 85. Tyler Lockett, 85 star dev. I uh, don't know what the hell's going on with his hair, but hey, whatever. Uh, Stewart there is a superstar. Uh, we moved Dunbar up to that starting position since he came out with the star dev. Alex Kappa there, 81 star. Eric Pokick, uh, he's dropped to a normal normal dev. Don't know why, but I mean, kind of whatever. Uh, we got Randy there, hidden dev. Anderson and Brooks uh, finishing out that the linebacking core. Uh, definitely need to look here in the middle. It'd be nice to see some, at least a star dev. Gay, Mad Max, uh, DJ uh, Reed, and Grady Williams drop down to a normal dev as well, along with Quandre Diggs. So, you know, is it time to go ahead and bump Thomas up there? I mean, right now he's, he's down one, but the age... You know, he, he's sitting the same thing as Quandre Diggs. So let's go ahead and let's make that happen. And we'll see you at the halfway point of year four. All right, so as we hit the midpoint of season five, you know, we're sitting five and four, but this division is wide open. We finished up with a 27 to 13 victory. Jordan Brooks coming in, 13 tackles, two sacks there against the Tennessee Titans, who came into week nine at seven and one. You know, just got a couple upgrades, you know, real quick to do. I mean, it's nothing, nothing too big. Five players upgraded. Uh we'll we'll come on here. We'll we'll take a look at the the team in general here as we're you know, pretty much wrapping up our final year as Russ, you know, 89. DK is at 99 overall. Uh, Daryl Stewart's there, 89. Uh, you know, Tyler Lockett's down there, 86. I mean, not not too much on him uh, defensively. So we were able to, let's see, short superstar, one of our draftees that we just got last season. Uh, Wheeler's still uncovered, and we got Rainey. No, we already knew Rain. No, McCain. This McCain guy is a star dev as well. So, you know, is what it is. You know, it, it's not the greatest dev traits, even if they're still top 10. But we're, we're currently in 85 offense, 86 defense, 86 overall. And now we just got to hope that we can go ahead and finish out this year and, you know, make the playoffs. So we're able to make the playoffs coming in here as the wild card. You know, probably that number four seed, I'm guessing. And we are. We're the number four seed. Washington is the number one. Atlanta, number two. Detroit, three. We're four. Five is Dallas, who we get to face here in the wild card round, followed by the Giants and the Saints. So hopefully, you know, it is nice to see that, you know, we were able to beat the number one seed in the AFC, the Tennessee Titans there. So, you know, before we get into this, let's let's take a look here at the the season stats. We were 10th overall offense. Russ throwing 4,800 yards, 33 uh, touchdowns. No idea where we ranked defensively. It doesn't even have us up there. Uh, we're here, so all right, probably like 11, 12, something like that. Uh, taking a look here, Russ 33 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. Not where we want Carson. You know, finally under a thousand yards. I mean, still averaging that three point nine. Had two fumbles on the year, not the greatest. Uh, Rashad Penny, his numbers dropped as well. So I don't know what happened there. DK finally balled out. 12, 33, 11 touchdowns. Tyler Lockett coming to play this year. Eleven and eleven. You know, Stewart six and one. Eskridge down year six and four. You know, I I I don't know. Jordan Brooks there, 125. He's been an absolute monster for this team as, yo, eight TFLs, three and a half sacks, no picks this year, but Teron Vincent, seven and a half sacks, Ali Gay, seven, Mad Max with four. Interception-wise, Grady Williams, again, shout out Grady Williams, three picks, uh, Dante Thomas, DJ Reed, and Sidney Jones all coming away with two. Uh, just kind of looking... Uh, Alfonso Short, our our rookie, superstar rookie there, comes away with one. Didn't really get too much playing time, I assume. Uh, but, I, I mean, whatever works, works. So as we come in here, we're going to go ahead. We're going to sim up uh, 
you know, there, there's a good possibility that we can come in and pop a bear this a little more. It is year five. Uh, so we'll go out, we'll sim that up. We'll take a look, see what the superstars are for the Dallas Cowboys since, you know, we're, we're really far into this, and it's not the biggest change from last time we looked at it. They got Michael Spielman, uh, strong safety with universal coverage, secure tackler, and then Zach Martin there as right guard. So not much has changed. We're a one overall favorite here coming into this wild card matchup. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have to come in. Hopefully the, the sim will, will handle business as you know, it's raining here in Seattle. Dallas... You know, driving down the field, they're able to get the touchdown. Can we answer right back? We do 7-7 seven, seven here in the second quarter, but the defense is giving up way too much. 21 to 7. Uh, this ain't looking good. 28-7. This could be a quick one. Uh, let's just come in here, fourth down, try to bomb it. Uh there, there's not gonna be really too much. Uh looks like everybody is exhausted here on the team. Uh we'll, we'll we're just gonna try something. <laughs> You know, as, as like I said, everyone is exhausted. Let, let me get this man up here. Come block him. Uh, we should have DK open. Should have DK. DK does come open. Can we get enough speed? Unable to go ahead and get enough speed there. But it's enough to get them out of that last little, you know, home field advantage thing. We're in the red zone. We're able to tie up here, come out of the, the halftime. But Dallas, Dallas is rocking us. Third down, let's come in. Third and one, you know, we're just let's just run this. Try to pick it up here with Chris Carson. You know, just try to be smart with the ball. Got a good run, good run, Chris Carson. Let's go, my guy, up to the twenty-three yard line. Five minutes to go. Can we see a comeback? I doubt it, but you know, let let's let's just hope. We got a fourth down. Come back in. Uh, fourth and goal from the three. We're gonna have to throw this. Um, let's let's just. Hope and pray that we can get this to go. No, we'll just run it in with Russ. Run it in with Russ. Get that touchdown. Let's go. Let's go. We're still down big. Um, come on, onside kick. We need to recover. Unfortunately, we don't. Dallas goes down the field and they score. So this here, you know, we're just we'll get some gameplay in. You know, it's the last minute and forty. So I mean, we we've already lost this game, unfortunately. So let's just see what we can do. I should have just threw it, but we're going to take off with Russ, able to pick up that first down. Nine rushes, 38 yards, and a touchdown. The touchdown coming from us when we jumped in earlier. Uh, we'll go to some mesh spot. I want to find DK wide open. I would love to have DK come open somewhere on this play. Unfortunately, no, but we're able to dump it down. Tyler Lockett is there. Let's go hurry up. Time is still running. Uh, let's see. We'll go some Z spot. I'll course i decided to do that didn't want to flip the play because it just killed a lot of time chuck it chuck it why do you pull dk out of the game i didn't even want to throw to him didn't want to throw to Spielman, but of course, the, that, that X factor that they got, no idea where, uh, you know, probably one of the drafts, but he's able to go ahead and get that. And I mean, we, we suffered. We absolutely were horrible that game, even in the sim and whenever I came into it. But I mean, it, it is what it is. It, you know, we, we made it to the NFC Championship game the first two years. Year three, not so hot. Year four, definitely not hot. Uh, we, we came on hot towards the end of the year. We were able to win the division at least three times out of the, three out of the five years. So we'll go ahead. We'll sim this up, get to the Super Bowl, get the, the end of the year recap thing going on. Check it out. See what's going on. See who wins the Super Bowl as Dallas against the Titans here in Super Bowl 60. Take a look at the yearly awards. CMC comes away MVP. Um, we don't have anybody in that running best offensive player goes CMC. Russ Wilson comes in into six. So at least we had Russ come in there a good bit. Uh, we have no defensive rookies, uh, defensive player, offensive rookie of the year, nothing. Uh, defensive of the rookie of the year, Alfonso Short coming in there on his limited play time. Uh, Russ coming in there at number nine, running back. Can we at least get Chris Carson somewhere? Come on. 
Uh, let's see, DK coming in there number two, along with Tyler Lockett there at number six. So it is nice to finally see, you know, two of our receivers making it into, you know, that short list there. D-line, nothing. Uh, linebacker, do we have anybody in linebacker? Of course not. But the Cardinals able to go ahead and get three guys all, all in, you know, the running. D DB, Derek Stingley Jr. coming in there number one. I mean, yeah, that that's that's really really going to do it. Let's let's check. Let's advance one more week. We will take a look at the uh, the season recap. See exactly what happened as we got the Tennessee Titans winning their first ever Super Bowl over the uh, Dallas Cowgirls. There, thirty nine, thirty five. Let's go. Always nice to see when Dallas loses. Uh, Trevon Diggs coming away Super Bowl MVP, but. That is going to do it for me today. So you know, if, if you guys enjoy these rebuilds, please let me know down in the comments. We're trying to hit 15 likes on the video. So make sure you go ahead and you smash that like button right now. And, you know, this one, you know, I, I'm going to do it all in one. But if if you guys want to see the, the episodes come back where each year is an episode, uh, please, please, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, because as of right now, I'm going to continue to run the whole five-year uh, rebuild in one video. So, yeah, let me know. But as always, if it's, if it's your first time stopping by, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We're on the way to 300 subscribers. I'm hoping to hit it here by October. So if you guys could, please, please, please smash that. And, you know, I've said before, at 500 subscribers here on the channel, I will be doing a jersey giveaway for somebody. Uh, so, yeah, let, let's get there to 500. And, you know, who knows? Maybe at 1,000, we'll do something even bigger. So, please, let me know. But until next time, peace.